Hello everyone. Welcome back to the new modeling tutorial from Hanora 3D. At the end of this video, you will learn how to get this cool mesh for your product modeling project. Okay. Now, let's go through the video. All right. To create our model, I'm going to start with the box. Press the X key button to open global search and type box. All right. Draw a box and then apply to every smooth we can see the box morphing into an elliptical shape but this is not the shape we want actually we want to keep our basic box shape so why have we got this shape well it because we don't have enough height segments so when we increase the height segments we can see the elliptical shape gradually morph into a box so in this case i think two are enough because with the low poly count we can easily modify the basic shape all right now we need to extrude these faces to get the cylindrical shape of this area if we try to make a cylindrical shape from these faces maybe it will be harder i mean that process will be longer so to make it easier create a new cylinder Alright, to connect each other, we need to set the cylinder side count equal to the selected number of edges. Okay, now we can connect them through the pitch. I think the cylinder is too big. It gives an unrealistic look. So, let's reduce the diameter. So, now connect them again. All right, now it's cool. All right, I want to get a slightly flatter shape in this area. I will take these vertices down a bit. So I think it's cool. Okay, now let's create a box shape on the surface. First, I will add the TurboSmooth and Edit Poly modifier. TurboSmooth is not a subdivision modifier. Alright, keep it to your mind. Okay, after creating the basic shape, we can adjust using the FFD or we can manipulate vertices directly. However, there is an advantage when we use the FFD. When wrong, it's just remove and apply another one. When adjusting the box, try to align its vertices with the base object vertices. Think it's not aligned. Just you have to increase the value of the steps in the interpolation section. Like this. Okay, now I use the cut tool to cut. Instead, we can use boolean or pro boolean. This is a simple cut, so we don't need to go to the boolean option. Alright, now we have to clean our mess. For that, we can use the target 12 tool. 
This tool is very useful for removing unnecessary vertices and creating a smooth surface after the cutting process. We can see as a result of the weld, we have received a few triangles, so we need to remove them and create cards. Select the faces inside the cut we just made. Ok, now insert and extrude inwards. I think that's enough. Alright, finally we have achieved the desired result. So, I believe now you have the skills to create a similar models for your product modeling project. Look forward to more 3ds Max tutorial. So remember to subscribe and share with your friends.